Alright, so today's video is probably only going to be a short one because I spent time laying in bed, uh, kind of wasting the day away. Got to head to work. I'm probably going to get maybe an hour in the park before I have to start work. And I don't finish work until 10.30. Yeah. Um, so let's see how this goes. All right, so I'm here at Hollywood Studios once again, just before work. Like I said, I haven't got long until I start work. And just as I was filming when I came in, I put my camera away and bumped into Kyle Palo once again. Uh, it was only a short interaction this time, uh, but yeah, he's cool dude, and he said we should vlog some time, so if you're down for that, hit me up, Kyle. I'm definitely down for hitting the parts with you, going somewhere, getting some vlogs. Uh, but yeah, so let's head straight into Hollywood Studios. So this right here is my home workplace. Um, I am actually a park greeter here at Disney's Hollywood Studios, if you want to show about that. And one of the things that's recently changed in this area is they used to have March of the First Order, uh, which is where the Stormtroopers used to come out. It's down this area here, march all the way up, do like a little performance up at the main stage of this area, and then march all the way back down. And that was one of the things that I actually used to uh, be involved with. I actually used to walk behind, holding the ropes, just making sure that nobody got in the way of the parade and things. Um, but unfortunately, that has now finished. They've taken that completely away. I'm not too sure if it's something to do with Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, um, but that is completely gone. Um, so it's kind of sad because I only got to do that like a couple of times. And I was really looking forward to doing that for my entire program, but then they took it away, which sucks. Um, I hope they bring something back, something along the lines of it, but we'll see. I mean, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is opening next month, so they're probably going to have a lot of stuff going on there. So they probably don't want everything Star Wars related out here. They probably want to keep it all confined in that area. So it seems as though today is the day for all vloggers and Instagrammers and everything to be in Hollywood Studios, because not only did I bump into Kyle Palo at the front of the park, um, I just bumped into Jojo again as well. So they must have been here together and just separated. Um, but yeah, so everyone seems to be doing the same thing here at Hollywood Studios today, which is quite funny. So you might have noticed these guest experience teams are popping up all over the parks around Walt Disney World now. They're just helping out, like giving information, directions, um, wait times, things like that. It's giving a lot of information out, which is really, really useful, especially for people that don't get here, excuse me, don't get here too often and uh, not too familiar with the parks. So, let me just spin this around. So having that guest like, experience team sat right there to help people out, not only does it cut like, wait times down for guest relations, but um, it just helps people out. You don't have to walk from one side of the park to the other because they kind of spread around the park in different areas. And there was one there, and there's one over by Tower of Terror as well, and there's one over uh, just on the intersection of Sunset and Hollywood as well. And there's probably lots more spread around. But yeah, they're all over the place, which is really, really handy. I never actually saw him the last time I came through, but Forky's right there. You guys gotta go take a picture with Forky. And I don't know if it's just me, but I feel as though this wall over here at Toy Story and leading into Galaxy's Edge has um, had a lot of things taken down behind it because you can see so much more shrubbery, greenery, and just a lot more behind it. You can kind of see a lot of Galaxy's Edge there as well. I'm not entirely sure. They have a new Toy Story land entrance sign right up there so when you're entering from galaxy's edge although you will already know you you will know where you're coming into um so it's not too much to see you guys can probably see better than i can just putting this up there but there's a lot to be seen and i'm really looking forward to this opening but that's pretty cool i never noticed the uh, new toy story land entrance sign from this side this is pretty cool just from the gateway here this is from a guest viewing area, so this is what guests can actually see. So you can just see the entrance to Galaxy's Edge right there as well. I'm so ready for this. Alright, so we're now back down at the opposite end of Galaxy's Edge. Uh, I see some construction workers just up there doing their thing. That's quite high. Um, but yeah, all around here it's just trees and I'm guessing that these trees are going to be removed 
when this actually opens up unless that is literally planted in the rooftop there um, because obviously unless you're gonna walk straight through like a, a woodland forest maybe that's the thing but guess where wouldn't be great with that and if you look across the right hand side you'll see that the old great movie ride show building has been rethemed and recolored uh, to kind of match with the galaxy's edge theme in of the walls and things so that's all coming into progress as well you know how tempting it is to just like try and get in through this door right now i mean i know there's a combination lock on there but still one thing that i have just noticed is the lights that are up here on the walls i'm not too sure if they're just temporary or what because these are like pretty much brand new and if you look closely at the bottom you'll see that they're already rusting i'm not too sure if they've done that to add effect for when Galaxy Edge opened if they want it to have some like weathering and rust to it but if not that's been there for like what I don't even know not even a year a year or so and that's already rusted I'm hoping they're expecting a weathering effect and not just that it was built badly and they're gonna have to be replaced soon what I'm still unsure on though is obviously you have star tours and things over this way here but then you have all of this room which is kind of like new york street and then into galaxy's edge so do you think that maybe disney is going to get rid of all this take the muppets out and retheme this whole whole area star wars because to me it seems weird that they have star wars up there new york ish style area and then star wars again it doesn't seem right comment down below let me know what you think do you think they're going to leave it like this or do you think that they're going to completely get rid of everything that's here and retheme it so it's star wars through and through and to finish off today's video stay on the star wars theme we're going to head into launch bay because i've heard that there's some new merchandise regarding the phone cases in here so if you come into launch bay to the detail on demand stand where you can design your own phone cases the uh, phone cases that you can choose from are now actually in episode order so there's my episode one two three oops four five six seven eight nine and then there's a selection of random other star wars phone cases so if you're a star wars fan and you know which movie you like the best then uh, and you have to do a phone case then this is probably a great option for you all right so that's pretty much it for today i told you it would be a short one because i uh, start early and i woke up late sorry <laughs> but yeah uh, thanks guys for watching i hope you've enjoyed it let me know comment down below if you have enjoyed it uh, please do remember to like and subscribe if you have enjoyed the video and hit that bell notification icon so you know exactly when my next video will be uploaded and remember to come back tomorrow because i'll see you all then I don't know what I'm saying in these end bits, but I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>